Hey, so Liverpool nil, Crystal Palace one, and yeah, that's probably it done, isn't it? Um, six games to go, certainly not impossible. Um, but increasingly the likely now that Liverpool, after the week we've just had, they'll end with more silverware. Absolutely embarrassed by Atalanta, and just one of the most just enraging games of football I think I've ever been privy to and I feel I mean you just knew we weren't going to score after the 60th minute and not because we weren't going to create chances because we couldn't finish them you, you know when you get a sense in football and it, look it's always one of those things that only ever well, agrees which one uh, they only ever agrees and it only ever exists in hindsight um, like Dudek's second save um two saves against Shevchenko you know, that's the moment it's not the moment until the game's done of course but I think Curtis Jones is one on one but actually no it was the one where Darwin Nunes did absolutely everything brilliantly got in the box he battered the ball as hard as you possibly can toward the goal and it somehow hit Henderson and stayed out and it didn't end there there's probably five opportunities there where on any given day any given footballer at any given level could have scored one of the goals at least one of the chances that Liverpool made for themselves and so it's weird to sit here and go Liverpool did everything right apart from score well scoring's the most important thing scoring's what wins your games scoring's what wins your games and winning games is what wins your titles um, still too porous at the back still too easy to be played against Palace could have had a few goals as well themselves too many they had two shots on target in the first minute of the game um, I think you know too many underperformers in a in a midst all that. Mohamed Salah is in the worst run of form he's been in as a Liverpool player. Um, Endo had a little stinker. We just didn't need him on the pitch. We needed someone creative. They let Endo have the ball because they know he can't pick the passes out. They got loads of men behind the ball. Their tactics were sort of well. It's weird to say their tactics were spot on. They were very difficult to play against, and yet Liverpool could have scored five goals because they had five for me absolutely nailed on cast iron chances at least to score goals in that game. So bizarre one. So yeah. Furious, righteous anger, but it's mad because that could have been a, a completely different story. But yeah, you just got the feeling of like the belief has left us <sighs> wild, absolutely wild. You couldn't script it. The last two games, the way that Liverpool have, 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 have got into the box and had chances and not taken them is like border, bordering on comical. Not funny to me, but funny to the rest of the league. Um, really annoying. This time, well, just over this time last year. Arsenal completely and utterly fell apart and it looks like Liverpool are doing the same right now the margin for error left us when we drew with Old Trafford um, and since then you know, we've effectively thrown away the Europa League and now with today it looks like we've been unable to just grab the chance to, to keep ourselves right in the title race as well, we're now in miracle territory and I hate being in miracle territory because miracle territory is just like luck and spit and sawdust and hoping things go your way it's rubbish rubbish. I much prefer it when Liverpool are the masters of their own destiny um, and that's how good they've been on the clock for so many years they've had the capability of dragging things over the line themselves if you need an Arsenal and need Man City to be crap then we're going to we're gonna end up having our hearts broken Um but Liverpool have got to keep going I mean this is what we're, what's, what we're left with now we're going to Atalanta in the week I've got no idea what that looks like I'd like that to be a win just to give us a little bit of a positive boost going into the rest of the season all this talk of just put a weekend team out now Liverpool have actually now in, in the space of a couple of days have now got to go and do everything they've got through everything at Atalanta and hope they can somehow turn that game around and just try and fight for the last breath for every sort of game that's left because no one wants this season to peter out no one wants us to just just fizzle and, and, and die on the vine and you know and then we'll all say goodbye to you again and be, I, I don't want there to be recriminations stupid stupid um, there needs to be more fight in the ground and more fight in the crowd as well and look you know I, I'm, I play part in that you know, I, you know I, I'll, I'll sing but I'm not a, a song starter we all have to be too many people I think have decided as well to come to these games just to watch Liverpool, just to watch Jürgen Klopp, just to kind of go, oh, I've just got to go and see Jürgen Klopp. And we had this in 13 14 as well, where people started to come to coach greetings to watch people greet the coach, not to greet the coach. Um, we're past last chance soon, probably here, given how good everyone else is. Um, but as long as it's football to be played, we still have hope. It's just dwindling hope at this point. All the players are back now, hopefully Bradley's not out for long, but much better with Trent on the pitch, much better with Jota on the pitch, much better with Alisson on the pitch, in certain different ways. Um, 
hopefully the Reds can produce a miracle. But yeah, that's what it'll be at this point. Right.